what is up everyone welcome to my channel DT model art for what looks like to be part 12 of the Tamiya SF 70 H build and today what we're going to be working on is the rear uh, transmission uh, assembly and rear suspension uh, pieces and we're gonna be we we're gonna be finish these these off or building these the same way we did the front suspension, and I have gone ahead a little bit um, just to save time on the video. Um, it's it's pretty much a repeat of what I did in the front suspension area uh, with the carbon fiber. Uh, what I used is the uh, Scale Motorsport. Uh, it's a uh, one twenty four scale twelve weave decal. Great stuff. And I prepped all the parts that needed to be carbon fibered. I didn't go nuts with the carbon fiber. Um, I did, I didn't, like the whole rear transaxle piece is, is just painted with, uh, with gravity colors, uh, gray primer here. And then I shot it with some um, uh, Dupacolor acrylic lacquer semi-gloss black out of the can. And then proceeded to detail paint a little bit. Now, what I did do uh, carbon-wise here is the lower winglets under here, which I left them the natural carbon color. And then you've got part of the front suspension at the top here that's been done. Again, on one side only. I didn't do it on the other side, if you look. Um, that's just left black because you're not going to see it. <laughs> and then I just detail painted some areas. Um, and this, is, this must be like a, a heat uh, shielding right here. That was painted by brush with Tamiya X32 enamel right out of the right out of the br or right out of the bottle. Nice stuff, gives you the right hue. These end pieces here, this and this, see how shiny they look? They were done with, and everybody knows what these are. Hopefully, it was a Molotov liquid chrome 20 years edition pen. Um. And then what I'm going to be doing is I also did the exhaust the same way with the Molotov pen. It's got a nice polished look, which is what I was going for. And I guess these are like the, the hybrid exhaust, or I don't really know what these are, but these are our, our, our smaller exhaust pipes that go underneath. And the last thing I've done is prep some of the final parts for the body in the uh, the the gravity colors SF 70 H red of course primed it first with the primer then I used the white and then the red and then I clear coated them with uh, two-part urethane clear on those pieces I used shop line two-part urethane two parts clear one part hardener one part uh, thinner mix a little bit up and shot all these parts I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone. I got these all done at the same time I was doing all these. Now, these other pieces here are the rear drums or, or internal uh, rotors that are encased in the carbon drums. I've done, I've taken the liberty of doing the inside piece with the 124 twill weave and then covered it in gloss, two part urethane. The same with these pieces that go on top and some other struts that are here one side only other side was left natural you're not going to see that bottom side so what i'm going to do here now is get the rear suspension built it's it's not going on the car just yet um we're gonna leave the car to the side i've just got it here so you guys can see it um but we're gonna sit here in the video now and assemble this uh <clears throat> the rest of the parts that you see here um, all these pieces are going to go on to this rear rear piece. Then we're going to install the exhaust, the the uh, smaller exhaust, and then we're going to go ahead and cart. There's some carbon fiber decals that come in the kit to do here and here, and also on these parts. So we're going to get those done, and then we're going to come back and, and see the final results. This won't be going into the rear of the car. It might. I don't know yet until I get to that pay part of the video, but. We'll throw some music on like I normally do, speed up the video just a little bit so we save time, and you get to watch me build this. So let's go.
that was a blast. Finicky, finicky. You probably saw me drop it a couple times, but hey, that was a that was a good test to make sure that uh, it's not going to fall apart on me. Um, now, the decal I noticed they uh, the decal doesn't really completely cover the edges. You see the black there or the uh, the red. So I'm going to carefully um, go ahead and just touch those edges up really carefully with some Acryl uh, semi gloss black. I think it'll look better that way with the edges done just a little bit there like that. This these here I won't because those are gonna those are gonna butt up right against the uh, the body once I get the uh, this inserted inside the uh, rear area of the body. But I want to do these edges right here because they definitely have exposure and they need to be all black right there. So to me, his decals are a little little too small right there in that area. Let's touch this up while we're at it. The other thing I want to do, I kind of wish that I had done the other side of these because it's nice that they look so cool, but unless you lift the car up and look underneath, you're not going to see this carbon in here. And I didn't realize that until after I had them assembled. I should have done the insides of these carbon. But, again, they're on the bottom of the car, so we're just going to put a nice little coat of black here and call them done. <laughs> just to clean them up a little bit and make them look nice right in there. Then we're going to do the back side of them a little bit over here, right there. Everything on this car, everyone, is so black that you can get away with some of this stuff. No one's going to see it once it's all done. If it's 112 scale, I would say, yeah, you better uh, you better redo those areas there, Dave. But, you know, that's not the case. Overall, when you look down on the car, you're going to see very little of this right here anyways. You're just going to see the outer edges of it and then the tires go on. So, But I wanted it clean. I wanted it to look nice and clean. I really like the Molotow uh, chrome on the exhaust pipes. Give them that polished look like they're supposed to have. And you guys hopefully will notice that I uh, I went ahead and put some gold foil on those uh, stanchions there, just like on the one-to-one -one car. I think this thing is called a monkey cage or something like that. I could be wrong. If you guys are, are uh, if you agree with me or disagree and you want to let me know what this is called here, kind of if you could comment in the uh, comments below what that is. But I think that's what that thing is called. Um, I'm not a huge F1 nut engineer here, obviously, so I don't know all the different uh, terminology for this stuff. But the rear suspension component is done. Now, what this will do now is it will go into the back of this. It will feed into here. But I'm not doing that yet, obviously, because that's the next step. And we're going to wait on that until we get uh, a few other things done on this rear piece here decals on the side the lower lower cladding has to be done carbon fiber and such but other than that the rear is done i got the front done the rear done this thing is is getting close everyone um so that's going to end it for this video let me bottle this up so that it doesn't dry out on me i hope you enjoyed it um please subscribe hit the uh, like button and ring the bell so you guys get future notifications on my videos. I hope you guys are enjoying them as much as I am enjoying doing them. Uh, they're a little bit challenging sometimes, especially when I'm doing the work in front of the camera here. Um, I apologize for not keeping the work centered all the time, but I hope I'm getting better at that. So uh, anyways, um, appreciate you guys look, uh, checking in. Stay tuned next time. We're going to get the, uh, the rear suspension piece glued into the back and start getting this car huge assemblies done on it. The big, big assembly coming up where we put everything together is coming, guys, real shortly on the uh, next video. So anyways, uh, I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.